Hello everybody, today I'm gonna make some rocks. I'm gonna be using Quickcrete's quick setting cement to see if it'll make us some fabulous art stones for our mandalas. Let me show you everything I'm about to use. Now let's read the whole label to make sure we know what we're in for. Let's get in there and take a quick look. Right away I'm getting the impression this is gonna be a pretty thick material to use. We might have to doctor it up a little. Let's keep looking. I'm gonna jot down that it says we should use three and a half to five and a half parts of quick creep to one part water. I'm also gonna note the appropriate safety gear to wear and that it's telling me to mix it fast because it's setting quick. All right, let's give this a try. All right, let's open it up. Oh, look, we got a tough guy here. It is absolutely no match for me and my mighty muscles. <laughs> oh, but prying it open might be. Oh, let's use brute force and get it open. <laughs> let's get this all set up and ready to mix. I'm all set up and I'm gonna put one quart water in my bucket. Then I'm gonna dry off this measuring cup and give it three and a half to five and a half parts of the quick cream. Let's do it. I can already tell this is entirely too thick. It's okay. I'm gonna put one more part of water in it and see how it goes. This already looks much better, but I tell ya, I'm just gonna have to use my hand. I think the consistency is just right. I hope it works. I'm going with it. I ended up with three parts of the quick creep and two parts water. Let's see how this turns out. Well, I got lucky. It looks like this is gonna be the perfect amount for a five and a half inch mold and a three inch mold. That's awesome. All right, now I'm gonna tap, tap, tap all the bubbles out and really hope I get any bubbles that might be clinging to the bottom of this. I've rinsed my bucket out in the backyard with a water hose. I dumped it in an old hole. I'm hoping that the extras fill that hole up one day. <laughs> anyway, I want to try my luck at doubling that batch. I want to see how much I can get away with. You remember how it said it dries real quick and not to do too much? Oh yeah, I'm going to push that buck. Let's make a double batch and see what happens.
It looks like my double batch is gonna fill up three four and a half inch molds, a tea light candle holder, and this three inch mold. That's pretty darn good, don't you think? All right, I'm trying to tap out the bubbles on these four stones, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I am nervous about the time crunch. I feel like I've already taken too much time. The mixture is starting to get a little thicker, and I think I might have missed the mark. Oh, you guys, cross your fingers that all the bubbles come out of these. I'm not seeing too many rise. Uh-oh. All right, I'm gonna start counting down, and I'm gonna see how long it takes these stones to dry. Let's take a real close look and see what we're working with. Oh no, it's been two hours and it's still not dry. I'm getting really nervous. Okay, I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna wait another hour. All right, it's been three hours and I don't think it's dry. I'm gonna try to pull it from the mold anyway and see what happens. You guys, cross your fingers. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen such a thing? Okay, definitely not dry. <laughs> I am going to take the advice of a really good friend. I am going to leave these alone until tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. Okay, I slept on it, and I'm thinking that maybe before I take these out of the molds, let's try doing it exactly like the instructions say. I'm going to put three and a half parts quickcrete in here and just one part of water. And hey, let's just see where it goes. Okay, this is definitely too thick to pour into anything. I can totally see what it was designed for though and how useful it would be. But for our project, this is just too thick. I'm adding just a tiny bit of water, just enough to where maybe I can squish it into a mold. Let's see what happens, YOLO. Okay, this just doesn't feel right. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one dry and I'm gonna take the rest of this and I'm gonna make a good old fashioned like mud pie. See if I can't make my own rock. Oh, let's see how these all turn out. Okay, well it looks like my hamburger patties are good and dry. Let's face it, I am no sculptor, but that does work. If you are, give it a try. All right, I'm really curious to see the rest of these. Here's the one I broke earlier. I'm opening it up. It is absolutely a mess. Oh, I just tried too soon, didn't I? Gosh, I hope the rest of these aren't like that. Let's see. This one is from the double batch that I was really nervous about. It looks like it's good and hard, but I see a lot of bubbles. Uh-oh. Let's look at the one from the first batch that was three parts quickcrete, two parts water. Let's see. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the mold from the rest of them and let's just see how they all turn out. Okay, it looks like my very first batch of rocks turned out pretty good. I see tons and tons of tiny, tiny holes in there, but overall it looks pretty smooth. I'm saying this was the best of my three batches. The second batch where I did a double batch, all of them have a lot of holes in them. I mean, a lot of holes. <laughs> I do not recommend doing a double batch unless maybe you thin this mixture even more. I just didn't know how much I could get away with. Well, let's go ahead and open up that one that was by the book. I'm gonna continue to use three parts quickcrete to two parts water. If you have a better ratio, list it down in the comments. 
don't forget to work in small batches, concentrate on those bubbles, maybe even use some sort of vibration, and wait at least overnight before you try to remove them from those molds. That was pretty bad. I'm going to list all the supplies down in the description and over on my website. You're going to be able to find what you need to make these rocks. I have a couple of more DIY videos that I totally recommend. These are my favorite products. I hope you give them a watch and you decide what's best for you. Until next time, rock on.